Let's install some conduit so our wires will be protected. This is called Greenfield Flex. It's an aluminum flexible conduit, and I'm gonna be installing this between the inverters and the wireway. Now this six by six wireway is something that I installed in some previous videos. Now this will protect the wires that we run in here. So the idea is that all of the wires will run in and out through the metal wireway as they make their way from the battery bank, which is over there, uh, over here to where the charge controller is, which is just above me, uh, and the inverters. Now here's one of the inverters, and if we drop down, you can see I've already made some tick marks down here. These tick marks are gonna be for the three quarter inch nominal, and this is gonna be for the one and a half inch nominal, and that's up here. Will be for the AC out, the AC in, and the DC in. This is one of the knockout punches. This is labeled for the one and a half inch, and this is the cutter head, and it presses into the other die. Now if I move this up here to the inverter, you can actually see that it matches the hole for the inverter. The actual hole is about two inches in diameter, but that's what you need for a nominal one and a half inch conduit. So I'll just put that on, that on, and then I can thread this on underneath. And I should be able to just pump this up and, and do it. Okay. All right, it went through pretty easily. Just pumped it up. go and inside here yep there's a little part we cut out have our clean hole this is the Greenfield flex conduit and this is the one and a half inch size so I just need to get a length here so I think it's gonna go about like that I haven't actually used this stuff before so I hope that's about right <laughs> Uh, that actually cut super quick and easy on the bandsaw. Probably could have even used a hacksaw for it. It was just so easy. Yeah, I mean, it fits, right? I don't know if there's any other trick beyond this, but it seems to be the right length, so I'm gonna go, go for it and I'll use this as my template and cut one more. These are the little plastic bushings that I'm using. Uh, they just screw on top like a little cap and they make a smooth transition. Screws in the back here. we go. All right, now I, I can't pull this conduit out that clamped on there well. Okay. So now it won't pull down and it won't pull up. I think we're good. <laughs> well, that's the process for attaching these conduits. I'm just gonna go down the line and do that with all the rest of them. And then we'll catch back after. And the conduits are finished. So this one has a little bit more flex in it than these ones. And they all come up. And I put these plastic bushings on top of all of them. I guess that's supposed to help uh, give a softer edge for when you put the wire through there. Now these ones I tried to use the knockouts and really made a mess of things. Um, I wound up having to clean them up with my uh, step bit. Uh, this one I used the knockout punch and it came out a lot cleaner. So when I bought this wireway, I just said I want a six inch by six inch wireway, 48 inches long. 
and that's what I got. Uh, but they gave me the ones with knockouts. Now, I didn't know any better until I sent a picture of this to my friend Ben, and he works with this stuff daily, and uh, he said he buys it without the knockouts, and had I known that, I should have ordered them without the knockouts, because then I could have lined all these up on center and made it look a lot cleaner than it does. As it is right now, I use these knockouts for in the rear, but this one I, I brought forward, uh, because otherwise it was interfering with the knockouts in the back. So it would have been nice to just have everything centered, lined up. But it'll work. Alright. Well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out the links in the description below if you'd like to help support the channel.